I'm also being joined on the phone line by former Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dixit. Uh, Ma'am, thank you for joining us. Uh, what, how do you re react to what uh, this, this particular, what we've seen today from the Supreme Court? Well, um, I'm glad it has come, even though it has taken a very long time, which is also should not have taken so long. But at least they've taken cognizance, and at last the punishment that should have been given to them some years ago has been given. Hmm. And I hope it will be an example for others not to do things like this. Right, right. So do you think uh, she, uh, that this... It, these, what has happened today and the fact that the Supreme Court has upheld the death penalty for uh, Nirbhaya's rapists here is going to further, uh, do you think it's going to deter these such crimes being carried out? Well, I hope so. Well, I really, really, really hope so that this will be something that uh, will be, you know, uh, noticed by people who do crimes like this and that they, they will be punished good and proper if they do crimes like this. Girls have to be protected, and they have no right to do things like this to girls. Mm -hmm. This also, this happened during uh, your uh, tenure as the Chief Minister, and after that also we have seen the law being changed, a lot of changes coming uh, that happened post, uh, the, uh, post this particular incident as well. No, no, Liz. The change is not as fast as it should be, mm -hmm. but I'm sure that this... Uh, uh, you know, this uh, decision by the Supreme Court, uh, by the court, uh, will stop people from acting like this again. It will be a deterrent for people. Right. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sheila Dixit, for joining us.